Hi, my name is Robert Brill. I'm a doctoral candidate in health psychology, and this is my fibromyalgia podcast series. Today I'd like to talk about being healed without being cured. Recently I explained to a friend how I felt that those with chronic illness can be healed without being cured. I talk to people with different disabilities every day, and at times we all ask the same questions. When will the pain go away? Will I always feel this sick? What can I do to get better? Today many of us have to accept that there is no cure for the diseases that we have. This is a hard pill to swallow. There's a broad gamut of treatments available for most of us though. Sometimes it just takes work to find it. So what do we do in the meantime? What do we do with the time we have to live that is after acceptance of illness but before we experience relief? How do we become healed without being cured? Hearing from our physicians say, you'll have to go home and learn to live with this for the rest of your life, just isn't a realistic answer for those of us with fibromyalgia. Almost nothing really fixes the problem in fibro, but numerous things can treat the symptoms. But for a large population of chronically ill people in the U.S. alone, medicine has failed to provide us any benefits or relief. Without going into great detail, this is a compounding effect on the economy, society's medical costs, and missed time from work, and of course on the government for those who must resort to collecting retirement benefits from Social Security. I've had people I have helped cope with their illness explain to me that if they don't find relief soon that they'll strongly consider committing suicide. I often wonder, what has it taken for those people to arrive at that point in their lives where they're ready to end their fight due to their pain. But when I think long and hard about it, which I have, it makes some sense. After all, some days I'm just hanging on by a thread, and I pray that just one more disaster doesn't happen to me that causes me to take just one step backwards, to gain just one more symptom, or to face one more emotional loss. How do we heal ourselves without being cured? I mean, it can't be as simple as accepting our illness and moving on from there, can it? I've accepted my illness. There it is. I accept what's happened to me. Is that a form of a cure? It is my belief and understanding that it is. It's one issue I don't have to address again. I've moved beyond that issue. I'm ready for my next battle. I've also learned to laugh at my situation. I laugh as often as possible. I create cartoons to share on Facebook, and I spread laughter where possible. And when I do, I know that I'm receiving a therapeutic effect, such as when endorphins are being released, making me feel just a bit better. These things make up my foundation some days. They're not big commitments, they're not challenging to pursue, and they lift my spirits and those around me up just a little bit. So that being said, I have found a cure in the form of acceptance. It is a cure nonetheless. No one can take that from me, and I like being the one who can provide this for anybody watching, for anybody needing something, or for anyone missing something, but not sure what it is. Every day, I have my foundation to stand on, my acceptance, and from there I begin to develop principles with which to live by, to find happiness with, and to help others with. I write in my blog about many things that are real for many people. It's my job to responsibly report what info I decide to write about so that when people read what I've written, they can feel confident that taking this research and writing seriously is my passion, not just a hobby and not a job. When you're sick, you're often left with too much downtime, and sick or not, it's still your downtime. It's your choice of what to do with that time. After you meet the basic needs in your life, it's time to find the next thing, the next chapter in your life that will become your next cure. You're very unlikely to find it in your doctor's office or at your pharmacy. You have to search your life and passions and find the things that give new meaning to your illness and you have to do that. No one is going to do it for you. Time is going to come whether you're ready for it or not, whether you're excited about it or not, and whether you're sick or not. You get to make the choice to be sick and have a rotten life Or you can choose to be sick, to accept your illness as is, and begin to move on with plans for the future. 
you can choose to be healed without being cured. It's your responsibility to live your life to the fullest, sick or not. You need to find a way. I did it. I wasn't lucky. I wasn't symptom free and I'm not symptom free today. I did it with every constraint in the world thrown in my face and I expect no less from you. If you don't know how and want straight answers then visit my blog and experience for yourself what I've discovered and I may be able to tell you some things that nobody else has or nobody else will that will benefit your search for wellness. Don't give up and keep your hope strong. Thank you.